Hello and welcome to the latest pad video. So we're making this video, it's kind of vehicle specific, but it's odd. So I wanted to make this for our client to help make sense of the, the diagnosis. 2011 Nissan Sentra with a two liter four cylinder. Car came in, it's had a ongoing intermittent misfire. Fault code P0301, cylinder one misfire. It's the only cylinder that's given the issue. Uh, seems like it's intermittent. It comes and goes, comes and goes. So anyway, the car is brought into us. Um, I connected the oscilloscope to it, verify that we do have a cylinder one misfire. Um, so what I have done is I have tapped in, uh, connected channel one of my oscilloscope to the control side, the PCM or engine module control side of the, uh, the ignition coil, cylinder one. I've also wrapped my amp clamp here around the power supply side to the ignition coil. So this one wire splits off and powers the 12 volts to all ignition coils. It is the power supply to the coils. This is the control side of the coil uh, for just cylinder one. So the, the amp clamp's watching all four coils. This was just watching number one. All right, so we come to our oscilloscope here and we'll pause it. So these ramps here that you see, those are, that's the, the coil dwell, right? And when the line drops down, that's when the spark plug will fire. So these ramps and these waveforms look great for the ignition coil. Um, let's turn this channel off. So now we're just looking at all the coils, right? So if we zoom out, against time all right so a little technical difficulty we're back in business so we've zoomed out pause the pattern and we've zoomed out and you can see all the cylinders um, we'll turn on channel one now this square wave that's cylinder one that's the way we're able to, to um, interpret or to figure out exactly where cylinder one so now what's our firing order one three four two one three four two one so you see you got a square wave again all right so we're gonna go back to live feed we're going to stop it and we're going to review it. All right, so here's cylinder one because we got our square wave. That's from channel one, right? So that's our control side. Uh, the PCM's controlling, saying, hey, we need to dwell for the ignition coil. Here's our signal. Here's cylinder one. All right, so now we got one, cylinder three. We're going to the firing order. Cylinder four, cylinder two. And we start over one again. So I'm looking at these waveforms. I'm like, everything looks great. The ramp for the waveform looks good. The, the control side waveform looks great. Uh, something that's not on this video is I did a relative compression test using my oscilloscope. And verified that we don't have any mechanical problems that would create a lack of compression. The, the relative compression test looked great across all four cylinders. Uh, we'll make another video of that some other time. So I'm thinking what else would cause a misfire on only cylinder one with good compression and good waveforms, good ignition coil, fuel injector. It's gotta be a fuel injector issue, okay? So we'll come over here and we're at cylinder one. So the reason I'm using my oscilloscope is the cylinder one ignition coil is buried under the intake and the connector is way back here. So I can't even, here's the coil. There's the bolt that holds it in, but the connector with the wiring harness is back here. So I can't access it. So that's why I'm, tapped into the engine module and the uh, ECM relay over there uh, and not here. If this was exposed, I would con or make contact here. But the fuel injector is right here for cylinder one and I can just barely get my finger in there. And I noticed that just by touching this connector, this wiring harness, see now we're misfiring, cylinder one. The engine's running rough, but if I push it back on, it clears up. Now it's running smooth again, not misfiring. But just, just wiggling this wire. Now we're misfiring again. So I notice it unplugs very easily. Well, this connector it come off cylinder one injector looks okay. Like it's not broken. It's it's not, you know, the wires are not backing out of the back of it. So I noticed the tab that's supposed to be made onto the fuel injector. We can't get with this camera, but there's a locking tab on the bottom of the fuel injector that would lock this harness connector in place. Well, the tab's gone. The tab has been broken off at some point in its life. 
um, the locking tab is not there. So that allows this harness connector to slide in and out or to move around, creating an intermittent misfire. So we'll get approval for the job to replace the fuel injector. Um, once we have the old injector out and the new one available, we'll continue this video showing them side by side and, and better explaining exactly the, the, how that locking tab works and what's creating this problem. All right, so we're back on the Nissan here. I have, we just went past all the boring part and got the intake manifold removed. So you can see in the engine bay here, we have the intake manifold removed from the car to gain access to this fuel rail that sits right here. Okay, so this fuel rail consists of a fuel injector for each cylinder, cylinder one, two, three, and four. So these are your fuel injectors that dispense or squirt fuel into the cylinders. All right, so if you notice on each one of these fuel injectors, here there's a little locking tab right there and that is for this connector the wire on the wiring harness side to lock into place so you plug it in it makes contact here plug it in and it snaps into place and this little tab locks the wiring harness onto the fuel injector keeps it from back keeps the wiring harness or connector from backing off notice cylinder three the tabs there cylinder two the tabs there cylinder one where our misfire was at Look, there's no tab so i don't know if it was manufactured that way or if it has been broken at some course of its lifespan but there, no locking tab was allowing the uh, wiring harness uh, connector to back off of the fuel injector so when we lose fuel we have a misfire in cylinder one so this will certainly result in our misfire we have a brand new fuel injector here that we're putting back on you can see the new injector will have the locking tab so our fix for this cylinder one misfire is to replace cylinder one fuel injector. Uh, first of all, as you saw earlier in the video, we verified ignition side, didn't find a problem. So now we're on the fuel side, found the problem here. So we're gonna install a new fuel injector, put it all back together, clear the codes, drive it, and that's gonna resolve our cylinder one misfire. But thanks for watching another pad video. Hope this was helpful.